The house was designed for a poet and a teacher. They have these two separate lives, like he as a poet and then he as a teacher in the morning. So we talked about Wada houses and how there is these two courts, one which is very public and then other one which is very private. So this is a site behind Manyatha Tech Park in Bangalore. It's a residential layout with the south facing road and the east facing road. On the northeast corner, there's a large tree. And on the south side, in the center of the plot, there's a existing tree. So since we were having an entry on the northeast corner and this parking entry from the south side, we framed this courtyard on the northeast corner with entry points leading into this courtyard. So the material palette here is black, green and white. We didn't want to make this coat colourful and we wanted to keep it as natural as possible. We did want a step down here because we wanted this part to be softscape. The main door leads to that foyer. Leading to the main living room. So the highlight is the wall behind me as you see it's a pale blue wall with a skylight on top. We've sort of got in the blue from the elevation. We've sort of brought the sofas and the same blue into the carpets and everything. If you see, even the curtain has a little bit of that blue hint hue to it. The only highlight is probably the jula that I'm sitting on with a bright yellow fabric. So this central court area which you see now opens to the living room on one side and dining on the other side. That leads to the kitchen. As we talked about the house of two courts, there's the semi-public courtyard and then there's the private courtyard which is for ceremonial and day-to-day -day activities. So in this space, we have created the court with this double light skylight and south light with louvers coming in. You get a shaded effect onto the surface here. And this level difference being not there, this acts as a catalyst with the katte being a seating area, helping to interact with the dining on one side and the living on the other side. And behind this tree, we have the puja room. From the court, we have the master bedroom at the lower level. So staircase is one element which we love to explore in most of our projects. And here more so because we didn't want to make a very thick looking bulky concrete staircase. So we did a 10mm MS folded plate stair, which does not go really well with most clients. They feel it's very unfinished. And wood was something that was going well with the palette. So we clad that with wood. This staircase leads to the family room and two bedrooms on the upper floor. This study for the master bedroom is where overlooks to the courtyard in the center with the tree which is there on the center of the courtyard. And we have provided this small window here for light, the eastern light directly falling on towards the puja below. Also for the master bedroom, 
you have that eastern light coming into the master bedroom area. So coming to the master bedroom, this becomes the highlight of the house. This acts like a balcony. So this window actually helps in interacting with the living down, the courtyard, the dining, as well as with the family to the side. So this acts as a seater, which is more like a bay window, which is framed with this door frame, which opens out towards the courtyard that acts like as though it is floating with the glass panes on the side. This terrace area here acts as a seating space commonly used by both the bedrooms. If you see the elevation, the lines are very straight, there is no fuss. The colour palette is very simple, there's white and there's a little bit of pale blue. And then of course there are louvers to create a little bit of privacy to the inside. But otherwise overall language is simple. So we've kept the material palette simple as well with grey vitrified tiles and leather finished granite. And along with that, uh, we do have a staircase which is cladded with wood and a lot of wood veneer work for the puja and the doors and other furniture. Jyotlingappa is a poet. He writes Kannada literature poetry and he has several books published. I wish he sees this house the way it is envisioned by his children and us and hopefully that, that somewhere there's a line or two of in his literature which would reflect this house. Surya, Yavaru Puyo Nino Alaya Aditeli, Kibiyu Nishabda Nishabda Kanawagi Haridu Kanu Katalu E. Munjanaya Manjinelli Bandada Ata Bidu E. Tuntata Nanamuddu Pregnelli Irada Rubu Padagadali Kudi De Surya Yavarupio Ninu